but now more bonus action. Cameron Pankey in action against Shalik Paisley. Cameron Pankey, we've seen here on Big Time Boxing USA in the past on the wrong end of what was a stunner, much like Shackelford and Gordy Russ. But let's take a look at the tail of the tape for this one. Cameron Pankey and uh, Shalik Paisley. Pankey will be giving up plenty in the way of height and reach in this one. But the 25-year-old Pankey, a heavy favorite in this featherweight contest. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. The following matchup is being brought to you by Salida Promotions. 313 presents in association with Pulse Boxing. Scheduled for six rounds in a featherweight division. Your three judges for this matchup are David D. Young, Luis Delgado, and Rose Gross. Now introducing your fighters first. Fighting out of the blue corner. Wearing the black and red trunks. Stagnant five feet, eight inches tall. He weighed in at 120 pounds. He comes to the ring with an even record of four wins and four losses, with three of those big wins coming by way of knockout. Fighting out of and representing Charlotte, North Carolina, ladies and gentlemen, here is Shalik Cutthroat Paisley. His opponent across the ring, fighting out of the red corner, wearing the purple trunks trimmed in gold. Standing five feet, five inches tall, he weighed in at 123.4 pounds. He comes to the ring representing Pulse Boxing. He holds a record of nine wins and only one loss, with four of those big wins coming by way of knockout. Fighting out of and representing Pontiac, Michigan, here is the fighting pride of Pontiac, Cameron, the problem, Panky. <laughs> Referee Patrick Schmidt with final fight instruction. Okay, hey, gentlemen, you had your instructions. Let's have a good, clean fight. Come out when the bell rings. Good luck. Touch them up. So here we go. Six rounds in the Super Bantamweight division. Cameron Pankey and Shalik Paisley. Added to our prelim broadcast. We've got no extra fights to give you guys. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> what number is this? <laughs> We're on fight number seven of the prelims here. We've and, of course, we uh, welcome you to join us on the main broadcast at 9 o'clock p.m. Eastern time. We've emptied everything. Here we are. We're good. And that last one was worth the whole night, wasn't it? Well, Cameron Pankey has been in this exact scenario in the past. In fact, in February of this year, he was on the wrong end of a true shocker, a loss at the hands of Juan Martinez, who came in on 24 hours notice. Remember that one, Raul? That Less was than 24 yes. hours notice. Juan Martinez was sleeping in the locker room because he flew in the day of. Yeah, he was getting medical tests early in the morning, uh, got in late, and uh, it was an unbelievable performance by Juan Martinez where he upset the local Panky. You know, he didn't expect that kind of war. You know, Juan Ma Martinez had a lot of heart. He kept coming. He was in great shape and uh, found a way to uh, beat up Panky that night. Panky looking to bounce back here tonight. Khalid Paisley, last time out, went the full six rounds with the 12 0 1 Rene Palacios. Big right hand over the top there from Panky. Paisley's tall. He needs to use that reach advantage, that long jab. And but he's pressuring. He's pressuring uh, Panky. You would think uh, Panky would be the one that's trying to get underneath his jab, but it's the other way around. Panky's the one that is trying to box and move side to side. And, and I don't know. Maybe because he, you know, he uh, remembers that fight with Juan Martinez. Maybe he's trying to save himself for the later rounds because Martinez really made him work uh, early on, Corey. Yeah, and, and sometimes shorter fighters can be the counterpuncher that can work on the back foot as well. And Panky is doing a decent job here in the opening round. Nice right hand connects there from Panky. 
Yeah, so far it's wor working for him. He's uh, using a jab and he keeps turning Paisley, not standing in the line of fire. You know, he Paisley barely misses that left straight hand, straight left hand because Panky moves to the right. It doesn't stand right in front of him. Look, he's trying to Paisley's trying to land that left hand, but you can see Paisley measuring, looking for it, and he all he has to do is take a little step to the right, and he he won't be able to get hit by that left hand. Counter right hand. We know that's the way to beat a lefty. Right hands, left hooks. Paisley's doing a panky. Excuse me, doing an excellent job of boxing him. Body shot again there uh -huh. from Panky. Opening wide with that right hand. Now do it for round one. Round two underway. Our final bout of our prelim broadcast between uh, Cameron Pankey and uh, Shalik Paisley. This one made at a catch weight just above 122 pounds. Paisley, given a little bit of leeway on the scale, came in at 123 and a half. Cameron Pankey weighed in at 120. Nice one, two there by Paisley. He needs to keep using that distance. Every time he uses that long jab, just, you know, wait for Panky to come in. Sooner or later, Panky's going to have to come in. He is the shorter guy. And there you see, he's coming in now. Smart fighter, the way he attacks. Talking about Panky, good body shot there, pushing Paisley out of the way. Yeah, Panky has a, a tricky, he's defensively a, yeah. responsible fighter in front of him, too, he's, you know. Uh, and, but he's, he's fast with his footwork, you know, he, he's in and out. If he needs to attack, he knows how to land his shots and prepare that right hand, like to the body. You see right there, he opens up. I like the way he opens up wide to the to the body with his right hand. A lot of fighters do not like to do that or, sc or scared or intimidated by doing that because they're afraid they're going to get hit. But I'm telling you, it's going to work. If not, you got to come in and drive and knock the other fighter off balance. And, it, and it's working for Panky, uh, Corey. Paisley not able to get much going offensively thus far. We mentioned the, uh, the fight against Rene Palacios last time out for Shalik Paisley. A bit of a, a surprising result, even in going the distance. The six-round distance was very competitive. One judge had that fight within one round. Thank you. Just caught him with a big right hand that hurt Paisley. Kind of buckled his knees. Paisley came right I noticed back. it. Yeah, but I noticed it. I'm telling you, it caught his attention for sure. And, and there goes that right hand again by Panky. I like the way he changes the direction of the right hand. You know, he, he keeps touching. He keeps preparing with the jab. And watch the way he throws that right hand. He opens up wide. He opens up over the top. He knows how to change it up. It's, it's good. Another counter right hand oh. there from Panky as he digs downstairs to the body. And if indeed Paisley was hurt to the body earlier in the round, those shots are not helping his cause. Right oh. Oh. A sweeping right hand there from Panky. Yeah, they work all the time. I'm telling you, he's being very successful with that sweeping right hand. And, and you see Paisley carrying his chin up high up in the air. Watch when he backs up. I like, oh, nice. For Paisley to try to land that overhand right. And one final right the hand. End. From Panky right at the bell. Thank you. 
go back to it if we need to. Okay, good? Yes. Come on, Let's go. Let's go. So round three underway. Cameron Pankey and Shalik Paisley will see. Ooh, there's that overhand right. Everything working for Pankey in round two. Seemed like he had Paisley hurt to the body, but it was those sweeping overhand rights that were just money for Pankey all round long. Nice left hook from Pankey on the inside. Pankey, a big ticket seller here in the Detroit region, from nearby Pontiac, Michigan, where the Silver Dome once was. It's right hand to the body, right along the belt line there from Cameron Pankey. And you saw the elbow kind of tuck in a little bit there, uh, Raul, yeah, after feeling Paisley. that body shot. Oh, yeah, and I think, yeah, he, it was a delayed reaction, actually. From that body shot, sometimes you know you land those body shots, and you know you might see it, you might not see a reaction by the fighter right away. It might take two or three seconds, and then you kind of see him buckle a little bit and back up. That's because that body shot hurt him. Well, I think Panky saw that as well. He is ramping up the pressure here, coming to the inside. Very he nice. lands a nice uppercut a moment ago. Yeah, beautiful explosive combinations by Panky. Fighting really smart. Everything off the jab. He's thinking in there. He's a thinking man. Well, one of the things you're looking for if you're a supporter of Cameron Pankey in this fight is what does his confidence level look like visually coming off what he experienced against Juan Martinez, a really shocking upset win. I don't think you're seeing a dip in confidence from Pankey here. It's not at all. I mean, he's got nothing to be ashamed of. I mean, look, in that fight with Martinez, he gave it his all. You know, he might have run out of gas. That's probably the only reason why Martinez won that fight. But besides that, I mean, look, I see, no, I, I see a lot of... Uh, a talent here in Panky, the, the feints, good footwork, explosive combinations, dictating everything with you know with his jab, setting up his combinations with his jab, the right hand that we talked about, the sweeping right hand, the lead right hand, the overhand right hand. He's a he's a good little fighter, uh, Corey. I'm, I, I like his style. He is putting everything together here in round three. A right hand missed. That left hook did not, and now he goes right back downstairs. And, but and he, a you bit saw south that grunt. of downstairs. Yeah. He, I don't know. I think Paisley was just using an excuse. It might have been a little bit low, but not, not right where it hurts. That's counter Maybe left hand there <laughs> from Paisley a moment ago. But the offense has been very sporadic. From the man from Mooresville, North Carolina, as Cameron Pankey back on the attack in the closing moments of the round. And the gloat is entering the building. Larissa Shields arriving in a Little Caesars Arena, where tonight she will go after the WBC heavyweight title. The champion, Vanessa Lapaggio Anis, putting her title on the line. The WBO's light heavyweight title also on the line here tonight. A major moment for Claressa Shields coming up a little bit later on. That broadcast begins at 9 o'clock p.m. Eastern time. Right now is the big moment for Cameron Pankey to bounce back from his first career loss here on Big Time Boxing USA. And he is really doing a number on Shalik Paisley thus far, an impressive performance from the pride of Pontiac, Michigan. Yeah, so far it's been all Panky, and I think he's 
He's trying to go for the finish. I really think so. Uh, I see more aggressiveness on him. He's, he's cutting the distance more. He's sticking more to Paisley. He's, he's looking for the knockout for him. Right hand, right to the chest there from Panky. Now during the tail of the tape, during the opening kind of moments of this fight, Raul, we talked about the disadvantage that Panky was working with in terms of height and reach. That hasn't really played a factor whatsoever in this fight. Not, not at all. I mean, he's controlling the fight when he comes forward. He's controlling the fight at long distance, which you think Paisley, that would favor Paisley, but... I mean, that shows you what kind of fighter Spank Panky is, right? I mean, he's a, a well-rounded fighter. He could attack. He could. He's aggressive. He lands some good body shots, but he could also fight from the outside. He's got good boxing skills. He's, he's a smart guy. He's a thinking fighter in there. Oh, wow, beautiful combination. Not, not all of them landed, you know, but he's creating openings for that. And there's that opening that I'm talking about, that overhand right. Look how he touches him with the jab. Look at that right hand again. Look how comfortable how he is, you know. Very slick. You know, pulling back, making a miss. You don't see a lot of fighters do that. That's, that's, uh, that's speed. That's uh, eye coordination. Well, you were pointing yeah. out the, the right hand of Panky. And going back about 30 seconds, you know, Panky was kind of looping that shot. Paisley was catching it. But really what he was looking for is to kind of train Paisley's eye to look for that shot. Then he throws it right down the middle and it lands flush. I don't know, 30 seconds here of round four. Oh, nice counter. Look at now using his jab as a counter, like kind of like counter check hook to land that right hand. He's, I love the way he varies his combinations. There he goes, digging to the body again, that right, right hand and over the top with the left hook. There's that overhand right. He's showing, you know, varying his combinations. Another dominant yeah. round oh. for Cameron Panky and one last left hook right he's, at the bell. He's happy going back to the corner with a big smile. Moisture in the corner of a Shalik Paisley. And here we can get our round underway. Two to go here in this one between Cameron Panky and Shalik Paisley. Final bout of the preliminary portion of our broadcast. And I think Shalik Paisley has realized that he's going to need something big because he is definitely down 4 0 in this fight, Raul. Well, most definitely. It's been a complete dominance by uh, Spanky. Panky, not Spanky. <laughs> There's too many. You got Paisley, you got Panky. And I'm making up Spanky. I'm sorry, yes. He's been putting a spanking yes. on Anshalik yes. Paisley. Go. There, I, yes. I wrapped it up for Thank you. Thank you. But yeah, it's, complete, it's been complete dominance by uh, Panky. Uh, just showing uh, his different styles that he brings to the table. And you're right. You know, Paisley... Oh, that, that was a hit, but yeah, Paisley tried. Gosh, ahead. He, he, showed, he tried at the beginning, but that was it. You know, he... Now he's back to the the, the same uh, fighting style. You know, he's, he's waiting, he's holding back, and it's all panky uh, with all the activity. There you go. That one rocks Paisley. The right hand with a left hook right behind it. And Paisley grabs a hold. Yeah, he's every time he lands those shots now, panky, you could see uh, Paisley folding. He's tired. He's wearing him out with those body shots. 
He's filling those body shots now. As the rounds go, he feels those shots. They get heavier. They get, they hurt more. He's setting up. He's looking. That's that overhand right. He's looking for openings. Good head movement by Panky while he's coming in side to side. Never stands in front of him. Gives him a little bit of movement. Doesn't want to get get flush. Get hit flush. And he wants to make sure him. there's no upset tonight. Right. <laughs> well, the, the hand speed obviously playing a factor here, Raul. So are the feints. The footwork of Cameron Panky is creating openings on a fighter in Shalik Paisley, who for the, for the most part has been wanting to slow the pace of this fight down, wanting to play defense. You're right. I mean, Paisley just can't figure out the puzzle. You know, uh, Panky, like you said, side to side, subtle movement to the right, to the left, those little feints. Even those little, tw you know, when he makes, pulls back, and he counters, it, counters off of that. He's got to be disappointing. You know, for Paisley, when he throws some big shots, and then, you know, Panky just pulls back and makes a miss and then counters off of that. The mouth of Shalik Paisley starting to open the body language, changing a little bit as well. Final 10 seconds of round five. Total domination from Cameron Panky. Final round here between Cameron Panky and uh, Shalik Paisley. As Cameron Panky has been in total control since the opening bell. And Raul, as we talked about, some of those disadvantages, some of the question marks that we had about Panky coming off that upset loss at the hands of Juan Martinez, really none of that has come into play. Really yeah, no concerns not at all. for Cameron Panky whatsoever here tonight. Not at all. I mean, like, you know, I said earlier, you know, he just, uh, you know, he ran out of gas. He needed more conditioning, uh, showing what, what kind of fighter he is, you know, and it wouldn't surprise me if he'd take down the line. I would like to see a rematch between him and uh, Martinez. It was an excellent fight. It was an action fight. I think they, they, they enjoyed it here in Detroit. Why not? Here on Big Time Boxing USA. Right hand to the body there from Panky going back downstairs. Really the one time we have seen Paisley hurt in this fight, at least we think, was because of a body shot. Yeah, I think those body shots, uh, a couple of body shots that that did hurt Paisley, those sweeping right hands to the body and also the, the left hook. Maybe maybe those overhand right, look, he's holding on there. Speed is power. Sometimes you get staggered by those shots. You get buzzed by those shots. It's a quick buzz, you know, and then you hold on. You want to hold on, and that's exactly what Paisley was doing. So most likely he did get hurt by those, that overhand right. Yeah, that was a flush lead right hand from Cameron Pangi, which came right after what was a decent shot from Paisley. Coming up the middle now with the overhand right and a le left uppercut. 
you get the feeling Panky's truly enjoying after that disappointing outing the last time. He is thoroughly enjoying that he is dominating this fight. Oh, yeah, this is a uh, this is a fighter who's having fun in there right now. Yeah. And it looks like it. He, he, you know, he's smiling back to the corner. He's smiling at Paisley at times when he catches him. There you go. He's having fun. Landing big shots. He's going for it now. Final 30 seconds of this contest. And his crowd is getting into it, too. Look at that. Cameron Pankey looking like Nolan Ryan on <laughs> <laughs> it's it's Robin, Robin Ventura. Ventura. <laughs> yeah. Closing moments of this contest. An impressive performance oh. for Cameron Pankey as he puts on a show for the crowd here in Detroit. Uh oh. <laughs> Taking a peg on the ropes. You need to break like that too, right? <laughs> Do we see uh, Panky doing the bolo punch and landing with the bolo punch with the right hand? Coming back with a left hook over the top. I think he really hurt Paisley there or knocked him off balance. There he's a little bit of showboating, a little bit of charisma. Great fight, great win. Well, that, that's a, exactly the kind of confidence builder that you'd have to think that Cameron Panky needed here tonight. Not just an easy wipeout win, but one where he goes some rounds, shows yeah. off his skill, and, and clearly got his mojo back tonight. I, I totally agree. Hey, he wasn't a guy that he just, you know he whacked out in, in two or three rounds. He had to work. You know, he couldn't get. He, he had to stay disciplined all throughout the fight. He couldn't take rounds off and. Uh, that's what he did. He took care of business and dominated for six rounds. I like Panky. I want to see him again. All right, let's make this one official. Let's send it back up to Pete Trevino. Ladies and gentlemen, please put a big round of applause together for both of the fighters in this ring. After six rounds of featherweight action, we go to the judges' scorecards. All three judges score this matchup. 60 to 54 for your winner by unanimous decision the fighting pride of Pontiac Cameron the problem Panky so a shutout unanimous decision victory for Cameron Panky to cap off the prelim portion of tonight's broadcast the pride of Pontiac Michigan